Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and we're going to jump quickly into this Wizarding World of Harry Potter Epic Universe update today. Um, big update from Bio Reconstruct. It's crazy. It seemed like I just did this one, an Epic Universe update, but I looked, and I, last time we did one was about two weeks ago. Time just really flies. But yeah, a lot has happened in just those two weeks, though. We got um, lots of cranes and lots of um, steel here, and even an arch for the Risen World of Harry Potter. So let's get it right into that right now. All right, so they are putting tons of facades, even facades for the canceled second attraction. So you know, it doesn't look like it's just empty space there, but it continues the street wall. This is the massive main attraction with there's a little theater inside there as well. And that is all good to go. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe the interior sets are, are starting to be completed on that attraction because now the X here is just completely done, which is great. They're probably working on the queue and other um, small details like that. You can see the facade or the the archways starting to be formed. This is again the Parisian area, it's the Parisian M Ministry of Magic type of area. Then he'll use the flu network to transfer to back to the London area. And you can see the Arc de Triomphe or one of those arcs looking to be announced or looking to be built right now and you can see lots of facades even the the those very french parisian facades fully formed starting to be put on the tops of the roofs right now which is fantastic you can also see how tiny this area is going to be just like the wizarding world of harry potter hogsmeade and diagon alley some of these walkways will be quite tight and that really makes the magic happen because that's how it is in the movies and that's how it is in the lands and it makes it even more immersive when these things are so tiny I and mean, look at these hallway these walkways there they're very narrow at times just like super nintendo world's very narrow it increases the immersion when you really just can't see anything and you can see again those right here up, up top on the picture is those facades for that canceled second attraction that hopefully will have a night uh, an attraction behind it one day certainly something better than the planned vr Broom to broomstick attraction that sounded horrible moving on to the starfall racers we can see not too much change here on the back side with uh, some great turns with this this beautiful this coaster track is just gorgeous but a lot of the work is happening on the i guess this would be the front side but a lot of work is happening on the back side where a lot of the coaster track is located right after those top hats and those main launches in to the beginning of the roller coaster and we'll look more into that right now but look at the, this is just a huge station because the, this maintenance bay which you see is undercover to the side there is four tracks because it's just double coasters so you need double the maintenance space so this area is just huge moving towards the back of the coaster yeah and this is what i'm talking about i mean a lot more track has been added with those airtime hill hills and of course the top hat just looks absolutely gorgeous and what looks to be an emblem to the right off the picture frame there there looks absolutely great i mean i just can't believe how many supports look at all those supports and footers are on the ground it is crazy over there here in california we have a west coast racers which people nicknamed one of their supports uh structures the spaghetti bowl because it just looks like a whole giant spaghetti bowl of supports and this is kind of resembling something like that here just like a big massive supports that looks beautiful all at the same time this coaster will be absolutely incredible when it's done and this is and look, here's a photo of all the footers and supports that are still not done i mean this has a lot of stuff left to go a lot of track and supports left to go as it makes that turnaround back to complete the coaster track it's a very long coaster of the i'm not sure the exact um how many feet but it'll be very very long i'm moving on to super nintendo world right now you can see an overview of the mario kart show building with donkey kong in the back having its own show building even some theming has been spotted there um by the uh photo from cygnus a drone shot which is fantastic and you can see the mario kart or the donkey kong track on the outdoor portions of that 
Yoshi is been completed for a while, at least the track has been, and they're even starting to starting to work on the hills, at least the interior hills, and even in a shot of the exterior hills they're starting to work on. Looks like they'll have the Japan hills, not the Hollywood hills, so it won't look very gritty, which is good. Here it is, Peach's Castle. Shot of that. Look, not nothing too much different from the last time there. Putting in, let's say that rebar for that flooring, which would be great. And it'll be just a great reveal when you come up come up that escalator out of Peach's Castle into the massive Super Nintendo World area. It's great here, and it's a smaller version, so I cannot wait to see what it's going to look like over there in the biggest version of the land. Moving on to Donkey Kong here. Again, you can see the show building. That will be a temple. Donkey Kong's temple, where it's rumored to have a Donkey Kong animatronic, similar to the King Kong animatronic of Confrontation. It'll be kind of pay, like, homage to that, so that'll be really awesome. And you'll be switching tracks in there as well. And you'll be jumping over obstacles and spikes and water out here. And you can see some of those obstacles being built with the false track on top and the real track. And you say making you safe, making sure you're safe all the time down below. Here's an overview of Epic Universe in general. Just another just massive sight. The hotel is kind of lagging a little bit, at least the end park hotel. Maybe they're working on the other two hotels first, then they're gonna maybe move the cruise over to that hotel or maybe they want the end park hotel to open with the park in 2025 and they think uh you know it takes a lot more to build these attractions with all these animatronics than to put up the hotel hotel usually takes about a couple years so maybe they'll really start working on that this year and that's the rumored helios hotel at you can see in the, in the concept right right over there right above the fountain but i mean there's a massive set just cranes everywhere buildings everywhere um it's just really, really impressive how fast they're building this thing, and it is on track to open in just two years, summer 2025, um, which is fantastic. They're incre increasing construction workers every single week, it seems like, and they're really hauling butt to make sure this thing is amazing and that it opens on time. One thing that's going to open on time, and one thing that is the largest uh, of the park is here, the How to Train Your Dragon Land. This thing is humongous. I think it's the city of Burke. Again, haven't seen the How to Train Dragon movies, but I definitely want to catch up on them for the live action one and for the potential untrainable show coming to this area in that theater in the, uh, the bottom corner. We'll get to that in a second. But yeah, How to Train Your Dragon will have by far the most attractions of any land in this park. Family friendly and thrilling. And it just will have a great atmosphere as you walk through a bridge onto the island of Burke, which would be great. Here is looking at the rumored Great Hall restaurant, which will have hundreds of seats and will be the main restaurant of the land and one of the main restaurants of the park. But this will be a highly themed experience. Think the three broomsticks, but even more highly themed, I believe, than three broomsticks and Toadstool Cafe. This and Toadstool will probably be the most themed restaurants in the park. Maybe something in Classic Monsters as well. But yeah. They, uh, this will be really, really cool, but the, there's the round table being built. It'll be amazing, and it will also be amazing for the family is this roller coaster, the How to Train Your Dragon roller coaster that will go all over the land. It is very long, probably almost as long as one of the tracks of the Starfall Coasters Racer. Again, one of them, not both of them, but one of them. And you'll be dipping underwater. You can see, um, right there as it dips through the concrete pond. And going through waterfalls and through walk work. It'll be a very scenic coaster, about probably less intense than Hagrid's, but not too less intense. It'll be like above Hippogriff, less than Hagrid's, above Mummy, less than Hagrid's type of ordeal. You can see the statues for the island of Burke being built in the pond or lake area right over there. These will be the same statues from How to Train Your Dragon 3, which uh, I don't know what they are, but if you, those of you who've seen the movie, you know exactly what they are and what they represent. But those two statues are being built here in the lake, and you can see there's a better shot of where the coaster dips underwater for it looks like a final turn before you go back into the station. This looks to be a an Intamin coaster. No, 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 mock coaster. Intamin. It's either mock or Intamin. I believe it's Intamin, actually. Coast Or no, mock. Because mock seems to be doing all the... Um, Ghost is there. Let me know in the comments below if it's, it's Mock or Intamin, because I for, definitely forgot. Last but not least, moving on to the classic monsters area, we can see these. this awesome barn structure has 
been completed for the classic monsters family spinning coaster that is definitely developed by Ma. And because you're in a barn and because that'll be a rumored shuttle shuttle element like uh, Icebreaker at SeaWorld Orlando and Pantheon at Bush Gardens Williamsburg, you'll be in there for a little bit. So there's a rumored show scene that'll be in there. This is rumored to be themed to the Wolfman. So maybe you'll see the Wolfman himself in animatronic or screen form doing something that will be maybe he'll be pushing you or maybe you'll be trying to get away from him. who knows but i'm very curious about that these big buildings here these single story buildings are the village area this is when you'll come in the portal which is being under construction up top you come in to the village area you'll get your main restaurant the land's main restaurant and shops and a whole bunch of good stuff be kind of like the i don't know cogsmere diagon alley version of this land where all your shopping and dining and then the rides will be in the back it's being constructed the exact same way actually which is great you see the scaffolding is up for the land's e-ticket classic monsters ride which is up to the top in the corner right over there and that'll be the entrance to the massive e-ticket attraction that's rumored to be basically harry potter and forbidden journey but with a more comfortable um bench uh vehicle kuka arm to sit on and with no screens and no screens and all animatronics which is absolutely fantastic and lastly, we're going to take a peek at the entrance portal here to the Classic Monsters area because it's very, very cool. It's like a, it's kind of that same barn type structure that you see in the Classic Monsters coaster. I um, mean, there's a lot of scaffolding popping up over here. In fact, it's so themed that you can't even see the portal, really, um, even though out front you can see it. But it covers it up super, super well. You can even see a chimney. So this is probably like some kind of barn or house type structure going to what? 18 or 1900s a european village that'll be invaded with monsters or something this whole land definitely has has a backstory and it is great but yeah there's that shot look at that in fact you can't even see the portal because the portal is just the barn structure which is incredibly themed I like how all the portals started off you know, just as concrete portals but they're all going to be so different of course of the warp pipe for Super Nintendo World, and here you have the classic monsters area. Then you'll have uh, something different for the Wizard World of Harry Potter, and how to train your dragon as well. What do you guys think of this quick Super Nintendo, or not Super Nintendo World, but or well, technically, but quick Epic Universe update? Thank you again to buy a reconstruct for all the photos, and uh, follow him on Twitter because he will post updates like on all theme parks of Orlando, aerial photos of different projects almost daily. Um, so follow him for that and follow Cygnus as well as he posts some great photos too. If you like these Epic Universe updates and want to see more, subscribe for to the channel for universe, Universal updates as well as Epic Universe updates and here in Hollywood as well. And as always, have a very super day.